Hello and welcome to the colorway portion of this training series. In this video, I'll show you how to create colorways by using closed colorway mode. I'm starting off with a completed garment with my fabrics already color blocked to the corresponding pattern pieces. I've also gone ahead and applied top stitching as well as graphics. To get to colorway mode, go up here to simulation and click this downward arrow to select colorway. There you'll find the garment with all of its components listed out. You can see your fabrications, applied graphics, top stitch, or any other various trims you may have applied to your garment. Within the 3D window, hover over the garment detail display icons to toggle them on and off, such as the blue baseline that's visible on the center front of this garment. To hide the avatar, I'll hover over avatar display and unselect show avatar. Anytime you make edits, be sure to select Update here to apply those changes on the thumbnail preview. And I'll just take a moment to reposition my garment and update the view. To create any additional colorways, select this plus sign icon. A small window will appear that asks you to name the new colorway. Once you have a new colorway, you can change the fabric's colors by selecting the thumbnail to access its property editor. You can edit any of the material properties shown, from material type, color, opacity, as well as roughness. To change the color, I'll select this thumbnail to access the color window, and select a color of my choosing. You can also change multiple components at once by holding shift while you select each. That way, you can change them all to the same color without doing it individually. Again, don't forget to hit update to apply any changes. I'll add another colorway for our next example. So in addition to changing the fabric's colors, you can also apply prints to them. I have a print in the colorways folder that I can use. If I wish to apply this stripe, all I need to do is select the fabric in the object browser and then drag and drop the print into the texture section. You can also select this icon with the four squares to be taken to a browsing window to choose your print or texture here. Now that I've applied a print, I can also create an additional version of it by creating another colorway. Up here in the 3D window, you'll conveniently find the Edit Texture tool, which I could scale my print with. Anytime you edit textures or graphics, the garment's fabric view will switch to textured surface. Clo automatically reverts to that view in order to show you the front and back side of the fabric. This also darkens the material on the inside and casts shadows that will appear in your colorway images. Just be sure to switch it back to thick textured surface to ensure that the fabric's thickness and color are displayed correctly. I've also applied a front graphic as an AI artboard file that has duplicated to each colorway. I'd recommend using artboards to apply graphics if you intend to retain the placement, but want to switch out different graphics. So let's say I want to change my graphic on the second colorway. I'll start by selecting the Transform Graphic tool and select the graphic to access its properties. Then I'll click on this icon to be directed to the graphics file location. Here I'll reselect the original artboard file and get this AI PDF window that allows me to select a new graphic organized as separate artboards. I'll demonstrate this once more on a third colorway. Select the graphic, navigate to the browsing window and select the same artboard file so I can choose my new graphic. Within the colorway editor window, you can use this slider to adjust the scale of the colorways. Use the scroll bar to view the colorway lineup. There's also an option to change from list view to viewer. This way you can only see the garments without all their components listed. Click on this icon with the three dots to view colorways vertically.
I'm going to change my view and scale it back down. Once you've completed building out your colorways, there's a save image option that allows you to export your colorway images. When you select it, choose a file name and select save. The snapshot window will appear. Here you have the option to specify either a single image's properties, such as image size and the option to set a transparent background. Also the ability to save out all colorways. So in this case, I get a total of four images. There's also the multi-view option where I can choose to export multiple images of each colorway. You have the same image sizing options and also view count to specify the number of views for each colorway. So let's say I start with four total. If I hover over the top of each image thumbnail, I could select the standard view presets. I'll add another view to create my own. In addition to the presets, you could create your own views by positioning the garment in the 3D window, and select the camera icon that appears on the bottom of the thumbnail. This can be a great way to quickly call out details. Below view count is layout. This controls how your views are arranged, everything from horizontal, vertical, and box horizontal and vertical. And again, your options offer transparent backgrounds, saving as separate images, so all six of these will be separate, as well as one image that includes all of them. And the option of saving all the colorways. So if I were to save this, Clo will save every colorway variation. And when I go to view those images, by default it will set it to your asset folder, but you can customize this as well. You can see our exports here. You'll have one image that contains all the different views, as well as the separate views I selected. And this will be saved out in every colorway. When you use colorway mode, you could select any of your colorways and go back into simulation to work within that colorway. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next tutorial.